What if everything you thought you knew about Jewish origins was only part of the story? For centuries, historians, archaeologists, and theologians have debated where the Jewish people truly came from. Sacred texts, ancient chronicles, and oral traditions offered clues, but each source told a slightly different tale. Now, cutting-edge DNA research is finally peeling back the layers of history, revealing a genetic journey that spans thousands of years, continents, and empires. This isn't just a story of religion or culture. It's a story written in our very cells, a story of survival, migration, adaptation, and identity. The latest studies are uncovering patterns that defy simple explanations, showing that the roots of the Jewish people are far more intricate, diverse, and interconnected than anyone imagined. This journey begins not in Europe, not in Africa, but in the ancient lands of the Levant, a region that today includes Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Jordan, and Syria. Here, over 3,000 years ago, the first seeds of what would become a shared Jewish genetic legacy were planted, long before the age of kingdoms, exiles, or empires. To understand this story, scientists began by studying Jewish populations scattered across the globe. Ashkenazi Jews in Europe, Sephardic Jews from Spain and North Africa, Mizrahi Jews in the Middle East, Beta Israel Jews in Ethiopia, and even small isolated communities in India and China who claimed Jewish ancestry despite centuries of separation. What they discovered was astonishing. Across vast distances, these communities share a remarkable set of genetic markers, a silent thread connecting people separated by oceans and deserts. This DNA signature suggests that despite the enormous diversity in language, culture, and customs, much of the Jewish population today carries a fragment of a shared ancient heritage. The trail leads back to the Levant, over three millennia ago. By comparing DNA from modern populations with ancient skeletal remains found in archaeological sites, scientists uncovered a striking overlap. The Y chromosome, passed from father to son, reveals that many Jewish men, Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi, share common paternal ancestors who lived in the region around 1000 BCE, the era of the ancient kingdoms of Israel and Judah. These genetic patterns hint at something extraordinary. The ancient figures of Abraham, Moses, and David may not be purely legendary, they could echo real ancestral lines inscribed in our very genes. But the paternal story is only half the picture. Mitochondrial DNA, inherited from mothers, paints a more complex and layered narrative. While men's DNA strongly points to the Levant, the maternal lines vary widely. Among Ashkenazi Jews, for example, mitochondrial DNA often traces back to European women, evidence of blending and intermarriage during early migrations into Europe. In contrast, Sephardic and Mizrahi Jews tend to retain more Middle Eastern maternal ancestry, reflecting different migration patterns and interactions with local populations. Together, paternal and maternal DNA reveal a mosaic, a shared origin in the Levant intertwined with centuries of adaptation and integration across the globe. The story doesn't stop in the Levant. Ancient Jewish populations were never isolated. When researchers compared Jewish DNA with that of neighboring peoples, the Canaanites, Phoenicians, early Arab tribes, they found shared ancestry markers. These findings reveal that the Jewish people emerged from a complex web of interconnected tribes and cultures, exchanging genes, ideas, and traditions across the Levant for centuries. Ancient Jewish DNA is both unique and deeply entwined with the broader regional tapestry, a reminder that no culture develops in a vacuum. But over the centuries, war, conquest, and exile transformed the genetic journey. 
Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, and Romans all reshaped the landscape of the Levant, forcing waves of displacement. After the Roman destruction of the Second Temple in 70 CE, Jews were scattered across Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East, either enslaved, fleeing, or resettling. Each migration carried their DNA to new lands, and with it, a genetic resilience that endured through centuries of persecution. Despite adopting new languages, cuisines, and customs, the core Levantine genetic signature persisted. Nowhere is this blending more evident than among the Ashkenazi Jews of Central and Eastern Europe. Genome sequencing reveals that roughly 50 to 60 percent of Ashkenazi ancestry traces back to the Middle East. The rest comes largely from Southern European populations, likely Italians or Greeks. Early Jewish migrants to Europe often married local women, both converts and non-Jews, giving rise to a population with Middle Eastern paternal lines and European maternal lines. This blend created a unique genetic fingerprint that persisted for centuries, even as Ashkenazi communities lived in relative isolation. This blending didn't just shape DNA, it shaped culture and language. Yiddish, the traditional language of Ashkenazi Jews, is a remarkable fusion of German, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Slavic elements. Just as their genes absorbed traces of the people they encountered, their language absorbed echoes of every land they touched. It became a living map of migration, adaptation, and survival. But isolation also left its mark. For centuries, Ashkenazi Jews lived in relatively closed communities, a phenomenon scientists call the founder effect. Small populations, sometimes only a few hundred individuals, pass down both advantageous traits and rare genetic diseases. Conditions like Tay-Sachs disease, Gaucher disease, and certain hereditary cancers became more common, but paradoxically, this concentration also allowed researchers to study these diseases in unprecedented detail, leading to major breakthroughs in genetics and medicine. While Ashkenazi Jews moved deep into Europe, other Jewish groups remained closer to the ancient homeland. Mizrahi Jews in the Middle East and Sephardic Jews in Spain, North Africa, and later the Ottoman Empire preserved much of the Levantine genetic core. Across continents, these groups share more DNA with each other than with non-Jewish neighbors, underscoring a common ancestry stretching back thousands of years. Languages like Ladino, Judeo-Spanish, and Judeo-Arabic preserve these migrations linguistically, blending local tongues with Hebrew roots, a testament to cultural continuity despite geographic displacement. Meanwhile, more isolated communities tell a different story. Beta Israel Jews in Ethiopia, Beni Manasseh Jews in India, and the Kafing Jews in China carry traces of ancient Jewish ancestry, but their DNA also reflects centuries of integration with local populations. Some Beta Israel individuals share Middle Eastern ancestry, while most align closely with neighboring Ethiopian populations. The Beni Manasseh display genetic links to East Asian populations with only faint Middle Eastern markers. The Kaifang Jews today are overwhelmingly Chinese in their DNA, yet centuries-old customs, rituals, and oral histories preserved a Jewish identity long after the genetic links faded. These cases remind us that being Jewish has never been solely about blood. Identity is woven from memory, culture, belief, and community, as much as from DNA. The diaspora was not just a movement of people. It was a crucible of resilience. Exile, persecution, and the search for safety scattered Jewish communities across Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. Yet, despite this upheaval, the genetic core endured. Even as Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi Jews adapted to new lands, the ancestral DNA of the Levant persisted, connecting generations separated by centuries and continents. DNA alone cannot tell the full story, but it illuminates the threads of survival woven through time. This resilience is mirrored in culture and tradition. Rituals, festivals, languages, and storytelling all became vessels for identity, carrying memory across generations. 
In Europe, Ashkenazi Jews preserved their heritage through Yiddish literature, religious texts, and communal life. In the Middle East, Mizrahi communities maintained prayers, customs, and Hebrew liturgy that echoed the ancient temples of Jerusalem. Sephardic Jews, expelled from Spain and North Africa, carried Ladino songs, recipes, and traditions to distant lands. Across these migrations, identity became both genetic and cultural, a dual inheritance of ancestry and memory. Scientific discoveries now allow us to trace these movements with unprecedented clarity. The combination of paternal, maternal, and autosomal DNA paints a detailed picture of Jewish history, showing migrations, intermarriage, and population bottlenecks. It explains why certain traits, both physical and genetic, appeal in communities separated by thousands of miles. For example, the shared Middle Eastern paternal lines among Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi Jews highlight an enduring connection to the ancient Levant, while maternal diversity reflects centuries of adaptation to new environments. Yet, even as the genes tell a story of movement and survival, they also highlight the limitations of biology in defining identity. The Beta Israel, B'nai Menashe, and K. Feng Jews challenge any notion that being Jewish is simply a matter of DNA. In many cases, communities with few genetic links to the Levant still maintain Jewish customs, law, and faith over centuries. This reinforces a profound truth. Jewish identity is as much about belonging, culture, and memory as it is about blood. Genetics provides the skeleton, but culture gives it life. The story of Jewish genetics does not end in the past. Modern research is constantly uncovering new surprises. Advances in ancient DNA extraction, large-scale genome sequencing, and computational modeling are revealing previously unknown branches of the Jewish genetic tree. Some communities, long forgotten or hidden by history, are now being traced through their DNA, revealing connections that were once lost to time. Others show how Jewish DNA intermingled with populations across Europe, Asia, and Africa, uncovering long-lost links between distant peoples. These discoveries also raise profound questions about ancestry, identity, and what it means to belong. DNA can map the migrations of thousands of years, identify shared ancestry, and illuminate patterns of intermarriage and conversion. Yet, it cannot capture the lived experience of exile, the resilience of faith, or the power of cultural memory. Jewish identity has always been a tapestry woven from both genes and stories. The diaspora is encoded in chromosomes, yes, but it is also etched in the language of prayers, the cadence of songs, and the rituals that survive across continents. Perhaps the most extraordinary takeaway is the sheer endurance of the Jewish people. Despite wars, conquests, exile, and persecution, their genetic and cultural legacy has persisted for over 3,000 years. Modern Jews, whether Ashkenazi in New York, Sephardic in Morocco, Mizrahi in Jerusalem, Beta Israel in Ethiopia, or isolated communities in India and China, carry fragments of a shared ancient heritage. And yet each community has adapted to its own environment, creating a living mosaic of human history, biology, and culture. This journey shows us that history is not only written in books or etched on monuments, it is written in our DNA, in the rhythms of our language and in the traditions we preserve. The story of Jewish ancestry challenges simple narratives about identity, showing that culture, memory, and biology are deeply intertwined. It reminds us that we are shaped not only by where we come from, but by how we survive, adapt, and carry our past into the future. The story of Jewish DNA is far from complete. Every year, new studies shed light on hidden branches of ancestry, previously unknown communities, and unexpected connections across continents. Science is rewriting what we thought we knew about the past, revealing a people whose identity was forged through movement, survival, and adaptation. From the ancient Levant to the bustling streets of modern cities, from isolated mountain villages to global metropolises, the journey of the Jewish people continues to unfold, not only in history books, but in living memory, culture, and genes. In the end, DNA may tell us where we come from, but culture, tradition, and resilience show who we truly are. Jewish identity is both ancient and evolving, a mosaic of ancestry, experience, and memory that spans thousands of years. 
and perhaps the most remarkable lesson of all is this. While DNA can illuminate the past, it is the stories, rituals, and communities we preserve that give life and meaning to that legacy. So, the next time someone tells you history is written only in books, remind them it is also written in chromosomes, in language, in rituals, and in the journeys of generations. The story of Jewish DNA is extraordinary, and it continues to reveal secrets, surprises, and insights with every new discovery. And who knows, your own DNA may carry echoes of these incredible journeys, too. If this video opens your eyes, hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-blowing discoveries, and share this with someone who loves history and science. Thanks for watching, and remember, your past is never as far away as you think.